No matter where Ekremi Mamulu's campaign bus stops these days, hundreds of people are already waiting, eager to hear what he has to say. Ever since Imamulu narrowly won Istanbul's mayoral election at the end of March, against the candidate of the ruling AK party, everyone in Turkey knows him. And the fact that he was then stripped of his mandate at the request of the AKP only made him more prominent. I rightfully won this election. But they intervened and cancelled the vote. That was a political decision, a blow to the judiciary and Turkey's democracy. Among Imamulu's supporters are also Esra Pelivan and her husband Serda. As long as they can remember, their hometown Istanbul is under the control of President Erdogan's party. People had the idea that the AKP is undefeatable. I thought the same. But Imamulu has crushed this idea. Maybe he cannot change everything because the ruling party is really powerful. But he made a huge impact already. And because of that, I am hopeful for my country again. Yes, he gives us hope. <laughs> they live on the outskirts of Istanbul where rents are more affordable. Esra is an accountant and Serda works in the pharmaceuticals industry. Their son Yiğit is in middle school. Turkey's ongoing currency crisis has forced the family to rein in spending. No matter what we do, everything has doubled or tripled in price. But our income has not increased at the same rate. This is very troubling for us. Serda is convinced that Ekrem Imamoglu as mayor would get the city's economic problems under control. Recently, Imamoglu appeared on television and began to talk about how the AKP leadership in Istanbul has allegedly been wasting money for years. The host suddenly ended the interview. The TV channels are not fair. Only now they started to give Imamoglu some airtime. Before the election, this was not the case. Now we see him more, but they are trying to cut him off. This encouraged Esra and Sada to volunteer as campaigners. As often as they can, they distribute Imamulu flyers and explain to people why it is important to vote on June 23rd. <laughs> They often experience how divided the city is. This man claims that Imamulu had thrown money out of the window. Esra says he was not really in office yet, but she doesn't get through to him. Some people are prejudiced. They just don't want to listen. Maybe if they listened, they would understand and they would change their minds but they're blocking other opinions. Ekrem Imamoglu has arrived at his next stop. Billboards of Bin Ali Yildirim, the former prime minister, now the ruling AKP's candidate for Istanbul, are everywhere. The Arnavutköy district is an AKP stronghold. But in the local market, people are celebrating Imamoglu. Ekrem for mayor, the vendors shout. <laughs> Esra and Serda are also here. They want a selfie with the candidate, and they are not the only ones. Many here support Imamulu. They consider him sincere. He's religious and conservative, they say, as well as modern. Someone who represents all of Istanbul. He won because he deserved it. And he'll win again. But this time, he'll get even more votes. In fact, I'm not upset that his mandate was taken away from him, because he's gained much more support now. In the end, Esra and Serda even get their selfie. With patience and determination. A bit like Ekrem Imamoglu's fight for Istanbul's mayorship.